Now this. Bill Gates enters the security versus <coughs> privacy debate, and guess what? He supports the FBI. He opposes Apple. Unlock the iPhone, he says. What else we got? Well, it's interesting because going against what Silicon Valley has said up to now, he says he questions Tim Cooks, the CEO of uh, Apple's take on all of this, that it's a demand for a uh, way into the back door of the security. He said this is one specific case. They are not asking for some general thing that compromises everyone. Uh, it's interesting. There's also a poll out on this, just very quickly from Pew Research, saying that 51% of Americans say Apple should help the FBI, and the majority of Republicans and Democrats think that Apple should help the FBI. So it's interesting. There are a lot of people lining up against Apple on yes. this. Yes, but this was interesting because this was a guy that's synonymous with Silicon Valley. Bill yes. Gates, co-founder of but Microsoft. Look, he's got a history of antipathy to Apple and, and uh, Steve does. Jobs. I mean, they're not, as I said at the beginning, they're not fast friends and never have No, been. but he they're says enemies. when it, when it comes right. to investigating terrorism, this is not something that should be debated. Mm. Well, I think then he catches them. He, yeah. he catches the move of the You're country, doesn't he? There yes, yes, I am. So well, I'm with civil yeah. liberties. <laughs> okay. You never know where Tim's coming from. You really no. don't know. It's kind of exciting. Now this. Uh, this is for you. Yes. John Kasich. He, he got a little bit of criticism for a comment he made about women. Just roll the tape. How did I get elected? Nobody was, I didn't have anybody for me. We just got an army of people who, um, and, and many women who left their kitchens to go out and go door to door and to put, put yard signs up for me. Okay, he caught heat because he'd said back in 1978 that he'd brought women out of the kitchen. Oh, 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 is that so terrible? <laughs> right, here's, here's what I think. If they were in the kitchen, and leaving the kitchen, then that's what happened. If they were somewhere else doing something else and he would have said that, doesn't bother me. I love the kitchen. It's where I, you know, open my delivery food and it's put it on my favorite plates. Yes. yes. <laughs> Watch it. I know, I'm very... No, but, but you know what? Honestly, if I was I'll a political, if I were a political advisor, I would advise any any candidate or politician to just never use the word woman or women and kitchen in the same sentence. <laughs> Are we that sensitive? Because it's apparently really? with social media people say, wait, I think I just heard women and kitchen together. Uh, the oh. outrage bell went off in my head. I need to get very mad now. And How that's many what women happened. will vote against John Kasich because he linked women and kitchen in 1978? I really don't think any. Oh. I think Thank that you. those people would not be voting conservative Are you offended? Anyway. No. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think we got the right. I have had here. serious yeah. problems before. This is not one of them. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tim. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> um, by the way, we are going to ask Mr. Kasich about that comment and his whole strategy because he's skipping Nevada. Remember, uh, John Kasich is next on this program.